We all love the really romantic idea of getting to a long par 5 on your second shot and smashing driver off the deck to hit the green and then hold the 40 foot putt for eagle. Or I do anyway. But can you really do it? Does it make sense? And should you just hit a 3 wood? Let's find out. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel and second of all, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. On this channel, I bring you guys daily golf related content that helps you raise your game, lower your handicap and hopefully just gets you enjoying golf that itsy bitsy tiny bit more. While you're down there, hit the comments below. I want to hear your best driver off the deck story and also your worst. So here's how this video is going to go guys. I'm going to hit a load of three woods off the deck and I'm going to hit a load of drivers off the deck. I'm going to show you the difference. The difference not only in distance but also in dispersion, in consistency. In which one should you really be hitting to try and get on that par 5 in 2? Or should you just really lay up? And that is not a bad start with the three wood. 250 Straight down the middle. Yeah, I think this might take some beating to be fair. Clubs today that I am using, Cobra F9 Speedback Driver and the Cobra F9 Three Wood. Interestingly, I was going to use the TaylorMade M5s, that's what I used for the driver versus three wood off the T comparison. But it sort of got me thinking actually, with the twist face on the driver, TaylorMade have taken loft away from the heel. Is that going to help me trying to hit the driver off the deck? To keep this as fair as possible, I'm going to keep switching around. I'm now hitting the driver off the deck. I did have a warm up before this video actually, so don't go thinking this is the first one I've hit off the deck. Some went well, and some went not so well. It looks so weird. Oh, that's terrible. That's the worst one I've hit by far. Now the real key thing for me here is that I keep every single shot in here for you guys so you can see the real difference. There's no point in me just picking the best three shots and saying, yeah I managed to nail some 270 off the deck, when the other ones I've kind of topped them and it's just not really worked. I've not topped any yet by the way. Come on. Pablo Larathabal, 18th hole, Abu Dhabi. Oh, that's the one. That's the one. So I've just hit my first couple of drivers off the deck and interestingly, can we all see that strike pattern? Really low out the face, little bit out the toe, not ideal. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I came into this test trying to be without any bias but I've always sat on the side of but there's not enough loft on a driver to hit it off the deck but the ball's going to come too low out the face it's not going to spin correctly you're not going to get the distance you might as well just hit three wood the reason why I got this idea for a video I was playing with a colleague of mine a friend of mine I'm not going to mention any names but he hits driver off the deck whenever he can all the time Tom and every time he does it I'm like Tom just hit three wood just hit your three wood mate sorry Tom I mentioned your name I said I was not going to but I've not seen one work yet for him. Now that shot takes some beating. And I'm not expecting to hit every three wood perfectly as well because that never happens. That's not going to happen. That's not what this test is about. But it's about what is the difference between a good shot and a bad shot with a three wood and with the driver off of the deck. If you know what the deck is, it's the fairway or the ground, it's like a ship, the deck, the floor. I think it's just a saying more than anything really. Driver off the deck. See now if Tom hit them like that, I'd understand. Strange how I'm hitting the driver off the deck predominantly left. I was expecting to hit it right, if anything, with subconsciously maybe trying to open the face up, but nope. 
You know, it's funny, I came into this test, this video, with a real strong mindset, a mindset of, <laughs> I know you can't hit driver off the deck, not properly, no one should really be hitting driver off the deck. Hitting driver off the deck is just a little bit silly, I mean, if you're a tour pro and you're really, really skilled, then yeah, I've hit driver off the deck, but... This is why I love testing. Because the more I'm actually practicing this, and the more I'm hitting, I'm starting to gauge a feel for how I need to deliver this club to make the shot work. You do get the odd shot where the ball definitely just comes low out the face. You feel like it's a good swing, you feel like it's powerful, it goes straight, but it just doesn't spin, it doesn't launch, and it doesn't go the distance. Right then guys, this is the last driver off the deck. It's been highly emotional. I'm gonna try and send it. 280, the green's 280 yards away. That is a good drive off a tee peg for me. Pull it. Let's just hope there's not a water hazard left. Distance is fine. Let's have one more. Let's have one more. It's not bad, not bad. Let's finish off by patting a few three woods down there and then we'll take a look at the numbers. I guess it's only really fair to try and smash a three wood, isn't it? Whew. So that is a bunch of shots hit with the driver off the deck and a bunch of shots hit with the three wood. I'm not gonna lie, now I'm tired. But let's take a look at the numbers. I'm going to show you honestly all the shots. There may be one three wood that I'm going to take out for the numbers because I had a bit of a mental breakdown and I topped a three wood. But I'm going to show you in the dispersion and then we're going to work out is it worth hitting driver off the deck or should you just stick with the three wood? Let's find out. So if we look at dispersion first off, this is the three wood. That was a shot I told you about. Complete enough to break down, although it is 6.30am while I'm filming this. So you can sort of let me off a tiny bit, hopefully a little bit. Yeah. What about the dispersion with the driver off of the deck? Predominantly left. Not one shot that's gone right in fairness, but predominantly left. And as I warmed up, started to kind of manipulate that face a little bit better and started to hit better shots. First off, let's look at the three wood. Like I said, I'm going to take that shot out. Average 244. Pretty happy with that. That is kind of a stock three wood for me, realistically. Spinning at 3000. What about what we all came to see? How do I get on with the driver off the deck? Now, interestingly, started slowly. Like I said, as it went on, started to hit some real beauty. 270, 271. 270 again, they are shots that I do not have in my three wood. Can't hit a three wood that far. Average, 255. Taking everything in total, 28 spin, which actually isn't a bad spin rate for a driver. But realistically, this is what counts. The blue being the driver, the red being the three wood. Dispersion a lot tighter with the three wood and actually there isn't that big a difference in distance. You can see a big group in here with the three wood, which would make me very, very happy. So realistically, hitting driver off the deck or hitting three wood? For me, I started to get the hang of this. I did start to get better, but the problem being out on the golf course is when was the last time you hit a driver off the deck? So unless it's something that you practice often, like maybe a three wood, I, I think it depends entirely on your skill level. For me, it's not something I would be confident with. I would be too scared on topping it, although, yeah. And in average, I saw a 10 yard difference. 10 yards is 10 yards, don't get me wrong, but still that dispersion, they were pretty much all over the shop and I would definitely have to aim up the right hand side if I was hitting driver off the deck, because for some reason they all went left on me, whereas the grouping with the three wood was pretty nice. It was nice and tight. I could then aim for the green, I could aim for the flag, I could aim for whatever I wanted to aim for, as long as that distance was around 240, 250. Guys, I've been James Robinson. I do hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it's kind of, entertained you but also got you thinking a little bit. Next time you're practicing, try hitting a few drivers off the deck, see how it goes, see what numbers you get, see if you can attack flags with it. But for God's sake, don't go trying it in a competition. Guys, see you soon.